Nah, look at the slide. Look at the inside too. Look at the box. Off white concept 18. I made twenty thousand dollars in one day. Yo, this could be a really bad idea. Balancing this on my camera. I didn't even turn the light on. There's a lot of stuff going down here. And it looks like Dexter. It's crazy because I've actually been watching Dexter. I'm trying to get off of TV shows because I feel like I need to be watching just straight YouTube videos and stuff like that. But we got a box. I'm going to do this really quickly so you guys don't get bored. I don't have a key. We're going to use whatever the hell this thing is. This ain't working. Hold up. I got toothpicks. You got to make like an entryway type of thing. Look at that. Done. These are the first pair. Like I'm making this really quickly because I know unboxings are boring. I need another toothpick. Woo! These are the first ones. Yo, these are actually insane. These are not even the ones that I got though. He just threw these in. 3D printed, designed, all that. All that. These things are comfortable as hell. Look, I already wore these like a good amount and there's no traction at all. Ah. I hate styrofoam. Oh, we got some letter right here. Hold up. Some one of eight. Yo, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna act like this is like the first time I've seen these. 3D printed box. Who's done it like that before? Look at this. With the logo on the side. 3D printed, bro. Nah, look at the slide. Look at the inside too of the box. Everything's 3D printed, every single thing. That's squishy. But then these are the, these are the ones right here. Look at these. Oh my God. I mean, look, the Instagram's right here. My boy popped them for me, throw my shoes away right now. Pop these on. Say no game. But that's the them, not the they them, the them. Those are them. Like those are actually them. 3D printed. I gotta take this off my sh my foot right now. 3D printed, all that. I'll put the dates in the description. There's gonna be a raffle for some of these. I think he's dropping like eight or something like that. So around 80 of you guys get to get a pair out of eight. Go check his Instagram. Everything's going crazy right now. And you know, if you get a pair now, who knows how much they'll resell for. I mean, I got one of eight. You guys could get part of the first eight released. Think about it. And I gotta get ready to, to be out at this event. And yo, anyone else who wants to send me clothes, go ahead. I'm not gonna fight with you. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna you know, throw no hands with you. You got no arguments on my side. You wanna send me clothes, send me clothes. I'm gonna open a PO box soon. I'm gonna get a list of the brands that DM me. Let me know. Ah, oh, hijo puta. Damn, bro, I just cut myself shaving. I'm dipping out right now. City time. It always smells like shit over here, man. Why can't I ever just smell like roses or some shit? I'm hoping they even let me into this because they told everybody to RSVP. They told me I was on a waiting list and then they just started texting me like, pull up, no QR code for no RSVP, nothing, Nathan. And it's in Nordstrom, but we don't have to finish our way in if they don't just let us in. I don't even know if I explained this, but it's like Ev Bravado and two other, or three other designers that are talking. It's like this Virgil thing. I guess the people he helped come up. If you live in New York City, you saw the flyer, you know what I'm talking about. If not, just imagine Virgil on like a blue poster. Bye, 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 bye. Now it's on you. Yay. Yo, you know where the Virgil thing is at? The Virgil thing is right there. Across the street. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, nah. I gotta wait on this line right now though. Damn. I'm like, yo, it's literally across the street right there. This huge line. How, how am I gonna wait in this line? I thought we don't wait in lines. I thought we... We passed that brokey stage. It was good. Oh, you doing, man? oh fish on the streets? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It was good. Guy back from Houston? Yo. Yo, why did I know I was gonna see you here? For some <laughs> I, reason, I, was, I was like, oh, shit, she's gonna be here. What's good, bro? Good. Need that. Oh, yeah. Nostalgia. <laughs> Yo, he's good. Chill it, chill it. Damn, Raph, Slack, and Shaq. Everybody's outside right now. I don't know how the guy at the door. Watch the video so he let me slide through. Tell him what's going on. Yeah, Tell I need more context. Yeah, so this is the event we got going in remembrance of Virgil. This is one of his last collabs that he did with Nordstrom. Let me show you what he did. Yeah, you gotta see this product right here. So this right here, this is the original Nordstrom logo from 1901. He flipped it upside down like a shadow on oh, the yeah. off-white. Like, wait, 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 wait. Crazy, this is the bag. So this is rare. This is, when it says Concept 18, this is the 18th concept for Nordstrom. So this pop-up shop, since we opened, we've had 17 ones before this. We've done Beams Japan, we've done everyone. So Word. this is the 18th concept shot, and this is exclusive only to this pop-up shop. They also got handbags and shoes too, look. Bro, oh, man got me breaking my neck. I didn't even see it here. Official Nordstrom, off-white, Concept 18. So all this stuff is 
super, super limited. Yeah, no, appreciate it, bro. No worries, bro. Give her context. Yo. <laughs> Good. Trying to get a drink. Yeah, hey, me too, bro. Look at this line. Line is OD. That's why we got a finesse too. Good, good, good. <laughs> Thank you. Crazy. We the, bring the grill out. Thank you. For a project with Interpol, so people waiting in line for an hour and the shit ain't even alcoholic. You know, fire designer, just an amazing creator. Waiting for juice. The first time you just worked with him, you're just like, yo, this this guy's like definitely like different. I mean, it's just like a million people there and like. Everyone is important. You go around certain people, creative directors, they don't care about like their interns or this and the third. It's like every person like knew that Virgil messed with them. So I think that's like the most important thing is like how personal he was, you know. Right. If you knew his no, it was like he'd be like, Yeah, with like two A's. Right. It would be like, yeah. yeah, and it'd be like, let's push, let's let's do that. And it's like it was never no. It was like yeah. let's keep building, keep expounding. Yeah. Yeah. So supportive. That's that was what was great working with them. What was it that allowed you to really invest in yourself from such a young age? I took things from like certain people, my dad being one of those people, and just be like, I could like model after this and that. And that's like with the des design ethos where it comes in with like the Christianity and religion, like how it kicks in. I had to do like a lot of soul searching in the beginning because I thought that I could sell clothes by being a rock star and that wasn't the case. To be good at your craft, you really have to give everything to it and you can't focus so much on like the world's like outward perception of yourself. More so, you got to focus in on your own um, craft. I didn't have money to spend hundreds of dollars on fabric, so I got jeans from H&M and I ripped them up and I sold them and people were hating and like, guess what? I made $40,000 in one day and you go to work. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like not to shade anyone, but like, yo, you can't knock another man's hustle, you know? That's how I had to do it for a long time. But I think it's just like, as you continue to see what works and what doesn't, like you start to hit your stride and you hit bumps in the road, but you just had to find what makes you you and focus on that and let that be your branding. There's so many stories of like Virgil's DIY approach, like sliding in the DMs. Of course, your story is one of them of just like a random meeting that, you know, he became his design assistant. But one of the things about V, he was not afraid to work with literally anybody. How would we open up opportunities for other people? Yes. I mean, email me. Uh, you know, for me, it's, it's, I try to, I have like a, diverse team of my digitechs and, and lighting techs and assistants and I don't just have one person. Right. I really try to look at emails and DMs as much as I can but I, I think people have it easier now because so many people are on social media that right. you know my advice is always like if there's someone you think is dope or you want to work with DM them and tag them they're gonna probably see it. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's like my main thing is yeah. like, just keep working at what you're doing and it will be seen, if not by me, by someone else who's just in the same place. I didn't want to say it's late because I'm just a person, but it will be seen by someone who's gonna admire your work. Mm -hmm. So as long as you keep being true to yourself, you keep putting out hot product and you market it in a certain way, you don't need a cosign because that was always my thing. It was like, I'll be fine if it's just like, who knows, knows, you know? Right. And that's like the mindset you have to have. You can't have the mindset that like, okay, I'm going to go to this event and I know Ev's going to be there. So I'm going to wear, who decides to wear pants and who decides to wear shirt? And then I'm going to be like, hey, have I like to work with you? No, it doesn't yeah. work like that. It has to be like, if someone wants to work with you, they will find you. Right. I think that's like the most important thing is just like keep it organic. And I feel like with me, the only time I press an issue and I thank God I was at the right place at the right time is when I saw her and I was like, yo. And it worked, but right. it could have not, you know? That doesn't go to say to like not take a shot, but at the end of the day, like your main thing should be like, yo, I'm gonna do it regardless. God knows when you're ready for certain things. I don't wanna get preachy, but you know, amen. But you know, God knows when you're like ready for like your moment, you know? It's like, I remember in like 2012, I was like, yo, like, Damn, like Ian and Glenn, like, yo, like, I like design so much better than them. Like, I should be lit right now. Like, uh, but it's like, it wasn't time. Like, I was like, if I had like popped off then, I don't know what would have happened. You know, I had to like really grow up from like that point to like whenever like things started moving. So it's like, you know, always trust like God's divine like timing because, you know, we don't know it all. We think we do, but we don't know anything. For sure. Amen. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming out.
Yeah. Yo, I was trying my hardest to get that conversation in, and for real, like I had a choice to either do the the water pier wearing or put the conversation in with them. So I, I think it's more valuable and something. The vibe I'm trying to go for is more impactful videos than just trendy number videos, if you know what I'm saying. But the people that come up to me and say what's up, shit means a lot. It really does. I know I be joking around a lot and stuff, but it means a lot, a lot to me to see all the support all the time. Even at random events, like I was at the Kyrie Irving thing before, people were coming up to me, at least at least five people came up to me in that crowd and you know, Freddie Wap was there, it's just crazy. But yeah, we headed back to Jersey. <laughs>